Let me ask you this question. Is Vladimir Putin a war criminal? I would not use that term. Well, let me describe the situation in Aleppo, and perhaps that will help you reach that conclusion. Uh, in Aleppo, Mr. Putin has directed his military to conduct a devastating campaign. He's targeted schools, markets, not just assisted the Syrians in doing it. His military has targeted schools and markets and other civilian infrastructure. It's resulted in the death of thousands of civilians. This is not the first time Mr. Putin is involved in campaigns of this kind. Back when he was just appointed prime minister before he was elected, and uh, I'm sure you're aware of that period of time, um, there was a series of bombings, and they blamed it on the Chechens. And Mr. Putin personally said that he would punish them, and so he ordered the Air Force to bomb the Chechen capital of Grozny. They used Scud missiles to hit hospitals, the city's main outdoor market, packed with shoppers. 137 people died instantly. They used thermobaric and fuel air explosive bombs. These are the bombs that ignite, and they burn the air breathed in by people who are hiding in basements. They used cluster munitions. He used battlefield weapons against civilians. And when it was all said and done, an estimated 300,000 civilians were killed and the city was completely destroyed. By the way, there's credible body of reporting, open source and other, that this was all, all those bombings were part of a black flag operation on the part of the FSB. And if you want to know the motivation, here's what it is. Putin's approval ratings before the attacks against the Chechens was at 31%. By mid-August of that year, it was at 78% in just three months. So based on all this information and what's publicly in the record about what's happened in Aleppo and the Russian military, you are still not prepared to say that Vladimir Putin and his military have violated the rules of war and have conducted war crimes in Aleppo. Now, those are very, very serious uh, charges to make, and I would want to have much more information before reaching a conclusion. I understand there is a body of record in the public domain. I'm sure there's a body of record in the classified domain. And I think in order, in order to deal with a serious question like this, Mr. Tillerson, the, what's uh, happening in Aleppo is be, in the public I would domain. Want to be the videos and the pictures are there. Fully informed before advising the president. Well, I encourage you. There is so much of it. There is so much information out there about what's happened in Aleppo, leaving the Chechen issue aside. What happened there is clearly documented as well. There's so much information out there. It should not be hard to say that Vladimir Putin's military has conducted war crimes in Aleppo because it is never acceptable. You would agree for a military to specifically target civilians, which is what's happened there through the Russian military. And, uh, you know, I find it discouraging, your inability to, to cite that, uh, which I think is globally accepted. I want to, in my last minute and a half here, move really quickly to an additional question. In fact, I want to enter two things into the record, Mr. Chairman, without objection. Without objection. The first is a partial list of political dissidents, journalists, and critics of Vladimir Putin who were suspiciously murdered or died under highly suspicious circumstances. The second thing I want to enter into the record is a letter uh, addressed to this committee uh, by Vladimir Karza Murza, who himself was mysteriously poisoned and is an opponent of the Putin regime. I'd like to enter that into the Without record. Without objection. Uh, Mr. Tillerson, do you believe uh, that Vladimir Putin and his cronies are responsible for ordering the murder of countless dissidents, journalists, and political opponents? I do not have sufficient information to make that claim. Are you aware that people who oppose Vladimir Putin wind up dead all over the world, poisoned, shot in the back of the head? And uh, do you think that was coincidental, or do you think that it is quite possible or likely, as I believe, that they were part of an effort to murder his political opponents? Well, people who speak up for freedom in uh, regimes that are repressive are, are often at threat, and, and, this, and these things happen to them. Uh, in terms of assigning specific responsibilities, I would have to have more information. You know, as I indicated, I, I feel it's important that it, in advising the president, if confirmed, that I deal with facts, that I deal with sufficient information, which means having access to all information. And I'm sure there's a large body of information that I've never seen that's in the classified realm. Uh, I look forward, if confirmed, to become com becoming fully informed, but I am not willing to make conclusions on what is only publicly available or have been publicly reported. None of this is classified, Mr. Tillerson. These people are dead. Uh, their political opponents are your dead. Question was, your question was people who were directly responsible for that. I'm Senator, not disputing these people are dead. Senator Menendez.